Welcome you back to Black Side. And tonight, we're going to talk about the president's son, Hunter Biden, dropping in bombs multiple times in emails. Hunter Biden addressed his lawyer as in multiple times, using the phrase like, true that in, and banter, I only love you because you're black. In shocking text, unearthed days after Joe's emotional, so-called toaster to crying racism. Text messages obtained by the Daily Mail revealed Hunter Biden used the N-word multiple times in banter with his lawyer. The president's son is 51, not 19, 51, flippantly addressed corporate attorney George Misers, who is white by the racial slur with phrases including true that in. In a December 2018 conversation, Hunter asked Messenger, how much do I owe you? Because mm, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. In another chat, a month later, Hunter cracked jokes about his penis and then told, I only love you because you're black. It's so annoying when you hear interjected with ferality, the Chicago lawyer replied. The damning texts have emerged just days after his father, President Joe Biden, gave a speech decrying racism of the 100th anniversary of the Tulsa massacre. Biden has sought to portray racial justice as his top priority for his administration. Hunter also saved a meme with a photo of his father hugging Barack Obama with the caption describing a joke conversation. Obama gonna miss you, man. Joe, can I say it just this once? Obama say, go right ahead. You my end, Barack. This is what we told you. Joe Biden comes from Delaware. Delaware was considered a southern state. When Joe Biden went to the United States Senate in 1972, his role model, the guy he looked up was, was a Southern segregationist from Mississippi who happened to be a senator. Joe Biden's son should be made to apologize. He should be made to walk the plank, just like if it was a Republican. Can you imagine if this was Eric Trump, Donald Trump, Ivanka Trump, they would be running 24 hours a day coverage on every major newscast about the words that were said in these texts. But you hear nothing on MSNBC, CNN, ABC, CBS. On Twitter, Hunter is a racist was trending. And what happened? Once again, Twitter and Jack Dorsey arrived to the rescue and try and take it down. See, you have a cabal. The left-wing media will protect Joe Biden and his family at all costs. And you hear nothing from the Congressional Black Caucus, the NAACP, the Urban League, all these so-called organizations that's supposed to represent you. Because in this so-called world of politics we live in, our so-called black politicians are Democrats before they're black. So they'll cover up for the governor of Virginia, who we saw in a yearbook wearing a Klan's uniform or blackface. And they say, that's okay. We'll call for his resignation, but he, he won't resign. And he spent four years in office. But if this was Trump Jr., if this was any Republican, you would see them on Capitol Hill today asking Mitch McConnell, McCarthy, everyone to denounce the president's 
son or daughter. Joe Biden is a racist. We saw what he did with the crime bill when he called us super predators and he gave us mass incarceration. And when you're 51 years old and you haven't changed your language, that means that thread was roving in your household. Who taught Hunter to use these type of words? The first teacher of a child is the mother. We know his mother has deceased. And we won't speak of that. But I do know this. To be openly saying these words in emails when you are 49 or 48 years old tells me that you're so confident and comfortable that even if these emails get out, nothing will happen to you. See, that D by your name, if you happen to be white, covers all your mistakes. You won't hear a word from anyone that's black in the Democrat Party about Hunter Biden. They will be quiet as church mouses because we got to play on a team. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Hunter Biden received the NAACP Medal of Freedom Award or award by the Urban League or Black Lives Matter. And you should have saw these so-called people on Twitter who decry racism, saying he's the president's son. He's just not the president. You never said that when it comes to Republicans, conservatives, or someone you don't like. You attack Trump's youngest son, who happened to be in high school barren. But you're going to cover from this white supremacist Hunter by this crackhead, this degenerate. This is the man who went out with his dead brother's wife. What man does that? Gets a stripper pregnant and try and deny the child. This is the man that has all type of dirty business dealings with Ukraine, Russia, and China. And the media covered it up for him. Twitter, Facebook, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, right before the elections. This is absolutely disgusting. And you know what? They probably banned my video. Probably try and take my channel down. But you see the mainstream media for what it is. It's the left arm of the Democrat Party. It's nothing but Pravda. And Pravda is the media for Vladimir Putin. Because there will be no questions asked of Jim Paskey, other probably than Fox News. You will hear none of those black reporters ask Jim, Jim Paskey about Hunter Biden's racial slurs. His father is talking about Jim Crow 2.0. He's talking about all this racism, but he got a strain of racism running through his household that he has not checked. And maybe he doesn't want it to be checked because maybe he's the leader of the pack. You won't hear a word. They will chalk it up till he was on crack. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.